Thank you very much. My name is Carlos Simão Mazzini. By profession, I am a religious leader, so I am called the Right Reverend Bishop Carlos Mazzini of the Anglican Church in Mozambique. Um, I appreciate the fact that uh, I was elected to chair the forum of electoral um, uh, commissions or, or electoral authorities of Africa for this term from now on to next next year's General Assembly. I think this is an el it's not an election of, of me, it's an election of the country of Mozambique. So I am very proud that uh, Mozambique can uh, be considered to have uh, resources that can also share with other African countries. But altogether, uh, I, I think it's also an opportunity for Mozambique and for myself to, to learn to, to be within the context of the uh, African um, electoral bodies. From the side of Mozambique, I think uh, we, we can share with the other electoral bodies the fact that uh, since 1994, when we had our first general elections, with the many difficulties that Mozambique has gone through, has been going through, yet uh, Mozambique has been successful in uh, maintaining the, the, the elections every five years according to what the, the Constitution of Mozambique says. It's not been easy because there is uh, economical aspects, there is security aspects, there are many, I mean, I mean even the, the, the natural disasters aspect, but uh, Mozambique has been very steady in considering that uh, uh, democracy is the way how uh, leaders has to be uh, have to be elected in Mozambique, and how uh, as the way how everybody can participate in uh, in, in uh, choosing or delegate, delegating the powers to 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 lead the country. So uh, that's that's one thing which uh, we are going to uh, share and uh, diminish other 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 countries that uh, uh, elections must be be kept. Um, we have never had any situation of a coup d'etat, for example. So we, we want all the African countries to, to learn from our story. It has not been easy, but uh, we've been there for, for, for democracy and elections. That's one thing. The other thing is that uh, we have held elections in situations of difficulties, like uh, the last elections in, in, in 2019. Uh, we had uh, hurricanes and cyclones and, you know, flooding. So uh, we, we held elections at the most difficult time. So the, the, the experience of, 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 of doing elections uh, within that context is something that we can share. We are not saying that uh, we, are, we can master the disasters or the risks as such. But we have gone through them and held elections, so I think we can still improve and other people also can be encouraged to do that. Um, the other thing that we think we can share um, is exactly the fact that uh, we are not living like an island, you know, we belong to the region. We are part of the ECF. SADAC, which is the Electoral um, uh, Commission's uh, forum, but uh, we are also members of the AAEA, uh, and now we, we are part of the, the global global uh, uh, for, uh, forum of, of elections. So we, we, we belong to the community of Africa, and we would like to, to always join hands with the, all democratic uh, forces of, of Africa and build uh, 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 Africa, which is uh, more democratic. We also uh, um, expect uh, like uh, uh, the support of, 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 of other, other, other uh, uh, electoral bodies. 
um, uh, and also to to learn together because uh, as you all know democracy is is a process it's an ongoing process uh, there's no country which can say now i know how best they do, to do elections there's no, no problems you know uh, every time is a, is, a, is a lesson so we want to be journeying journeying together with other people and learning together how to build a, a democratic Africa. So we, we, we expect that support. Peer-to-peer uh, -peer exchange is so important because you get a chance to, to, to learn from details. We have just had the forum we had uh, lots of learning, but that's, that's kind of uh, overall and general experiences. But we, if you have got a peer support, then we have got time to discuss all details, either in a meeting or just outside the meeting, whether in a dinner or in, you know, where either when you are working together, you share, you could even share your, your doubts, your pains, your, you know, and then you, you get support from the other people because they say, oh no, that happened in our own elections as well, but the solution was this or was that. So if you can try that one, probably that could be, you know. So I mean, peer to peer uh, 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 relationships and exchange is highly important because it it opens the gate for us to 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 delve into the details of a particular uh, electoral process of a particular country and then we learn those det little details and what complicates elections in every country are actually the details the details what happens in 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 the ground and either either politically or, or just in terms of 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 of, of, of uh, the processes or practices, and for us to be able to 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 make a curve or or, or change the situation, you need to know to the details. Even 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 during the elections, when elections are happening, if you have got peer 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 support. Uh, that gives you a moral support because you always know that uh, around me there are friends that are, are, are standing together, and you would exactly expect to hear from from them their first impressions about how elections are going or how elections are going or have have gone. You know that that helps. That helps, and and and. <clears throat> As 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 peer um, like um, uh, electoral body members, uh, we go there. For example, as as uh, ob uh, observers, so we are we are obliged morally to to speak the truth to to the people whom we are supporting. So that that I think that helps. Well, uh, every every job to 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 make it come out successfully, you need to to, to train. It may be a football team; you need to train your 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 your, your, your players. Everything needs a, a training. So it couldn't be different for a a process which is a very uh, big and, and complex, such as the elections. So uh, training, it takes precedence over everything. You have to train, first of all, even the electoral uh, members, I mean, the, the, the members of the electoral body have to be trained so that they can know what's their responsibility and what are the risks. You know, and what are the aims of the job they're doing? They need training. That's why our members of the Mozambique Electoral Board have been trained and we are continue to, continue to train them. But also this training it has to go down to the various layers of the, of the, of the mosaic of, 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 of elections. Um, you know, we are a, a, a commission but we have got uh, like the STI, which is the, 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 the kind of executive body of elections. And we have got uh, um, the provincial uh, electoral committees, the district electoral committees, and then we have got, you know, 
a number of 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 of, of, of sub bodies that r have to run elections so all of those need to be uh, trained each on its level so that the people can know what exactly is to be done and when it, it is to be done unless you do that then it becomes very difficult to hold elections and it be, can be very very confusing if people don't know exactly what has to be done so this training has to take place actually i mean uh, it should take place even even if be, be before when you are in the in, in the in the in the period of pre-election the pre-election period is very fundamental to launch this this training because when you train people right when the elections are there particularly those who are who belong to the various uh, you know electoral you know our, our committees and you know activities you know if you train them right at that time only there may not be time for them to digest you know to you know to understand exactly why this has to be done this way or that way but if you r start running the training as early as possible uh, that's uh, so much the better of course there are some activities that are to be uh, trained are to be done exactly be just before the elections but uh, the training must be also a process there are also like we have heard um uh, people complaining that uh, the electoral bodies uh, lose a lot of resource, uh, resourceful people because those people, are, those who are, are, are contracted temporarily for the period of elections. They are trained and then they do well and then after that then they have got no space and we don't have a way how to reutilize those staff in the future elections. So we have to hire new people and start again. So uh, there is this, this idea that if nations could have sufficient resources, it would be good to specialize people on, 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 on the various sectors of, of running elections so that we don't, we don't keep training in new stuff, new stuff and forfeiting you know, all the experiences. But unfortunately, our countries uh, still are, 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 have got uh, um, uh, problems with the, the, the economic aspects because it would uh, demand that there are period of time where people are kept and are paid but they're not doing something. You know, that, that's the issue. But uh, capitalizing on what people know, uh, uh, that helps. So um, fundamental, I'm saying, uh, training has to be uh, uh, started as early as possible, particularly in the pre-electoral uh, time, but also during just uh, for the electoral, uh, electoral time. Well, thank you. I, I, I think we can just start from that. that that's the challenge of financial support. Um, unfortunately, uh, the economic, uh, uh, as I mentioned, the economic capacity of, of many of the African countries is, is, is still you know, not up to you know, um, what is, it would be desirable. Uh, and because of that, then we, we have got late, late funding. Not, not that the government do not want to support, because they commit to do that. But the, 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 the responsibility of keeping up the country, uh, particularly when you have got countries under security issues like Mozambique, you know, and, 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 and accidents or disasters, it's difficult. So it is always a challenge to, 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 to receive a funding later on. Um, that's, that's, that's one thing. But the other challenge um, that we, we have is, uh, is uh, political. Because we think uh, that it is uh, highly important that uh, the political players um, look at elections not as a, a moment of, of raising more conflicts, but uh, of really 
uh, uh, sharing their visions, their plans of uh, governance of the country, and 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 influence the people to to, to vote them, um, uh, not to spend time, you know, throwing stones to the other political parties or to the uh, uh, election election uh, um, uh, um, body, you know, uh, not to do that, but to really focus. On, 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 on what to really they can, can offer and how that should be done. I think that's a challenge. So our society our, you know, needs to, to, to grow in that, in that area. Um, the other challenge that uh, we could consider is uh, really the fact that uh, you are never sure whether by the time of holding elections we are not going uh, to have uh, natural disasters. Mozambique is a country in Southeast uh, Africa which is uh, most hit by, uh, by, by cyclones. Just this year, in a period of two months, we had uh, like four cyclones, you know, four or five cyclones in different uh, areas. Some of them are very bad, they are very, they are very destructive, but all of them, they find the communities which are not well prepared to, you know, they are not resilient because year after year there's been a flood and then people moved, you know, lost things. There's no time to build up resilience. So it is a challenge to, to be thinking about uh, whether this time is going to be okay or not and what to do. So. And that leads to the issue of the necessity of, 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 of risk management. It is also arranged because we have to think and plan and get resources that uh, will be available uh, when a risk uh, occurs in a time of elections. We have got now the risk of the northern part of, the, of our country. We want to run elections because the law has not exempted any area. But the question is, how are we going to do that? We just pray God that the situation can improve more and more and more as it's been improving, so that we can have a, a smooth operation of, but otherwise, it's a risk. So the issue of risks is, is a challenge. Um, probably, um, the other, the other, 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 other challenge is how to to make the, the civil society um, um, and, uh, be more proactive and more online of educating, uh, providing civic education to citizens instead of uh, of of. Um, like uh, looking at the um, electoral bodies, you know, uh, we spend a lot of time on that, on accus accusations, you know. But I think uh, uh, all of us are called to be uh, educating uh, uh, the, the society and educating one another so that we can, uh, you know, go for elections with uh, all knowledge, all you know, all spirit of, of, of choosing in the right way. Uh, the leadership of the country. So that, that's one other challenge. But I do have to say also that uh, the civil society organizations are very strong in Mozambique and they have been helpful in one way or another, but we ca they can do more and they can be more supportive to the, to the, to the electoral bodies. It, it's, it's, it's a challenge. When, when's your next election, sorry? Well, um, we are having the, the local elections next year, 2023. The date which has been uh, already set by, by, the, by, 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 by the government and approved by the parliament is 11th October. We're having local elections. But then on 2024, we're going to have uh, the general elections which includes the electing the president of, 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 of the republic and the parliament and the, the provincial or provincial uh, councils and, 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 
we are speaking about about uh, the, 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 the governor of the province and then uh, there's also a, 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 a an expectation that uh, at a district level there is going to be a, an election it's a new issue which is, is being discussed whether it is time to introduce it now or not we we are not yet sure whether we're going to do that or not but it's it's, it's uh, part of, of of the plan so uh, we don't have dates for the general elections yet but it's it's going to be 2024